Hey guys, welcome to our channel Quotas Arcade. This is Ashank David and in today's video, we are going to talk about linear search in C++. What is this linear search? Before we start this video, I would like to request you people to please like, share and subscribe to our channel Quotas Arcade and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates. So without any further ado, let's get right into the topic. So what is this linear search in C++ we are talking about? Linear search is one of the searching sorting algorithms, one of the popular searching sorting algorithms actually in data structures. So this linear search can be implemented into C also, C++ also, Java also and so on. So in many programming languages, you can implement this linear search searching algorithm. But what exactly linear search algorithm does? See, when we talk about linear search, say suppose we have an array. This array has some elements into it. So let me just fill some random elements into this. I said 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. So now once I have filled all these uh, elements, now I need to do a search on it. So basically linear search meaning traversing through the array. And then as soon as you keep reading on the elements one by one, you keep on matching them with the asked number that you want to search. For example, this is an array and all the numbers are there into this. Now, user will give us something called as key. Let's say user entered, uh, we'll ask the user, what do you want to search? And if the user say enters 20, I need to search, this will act as a key. Then we will start traversing this array. So when we traverse the array, we will be traversing through the indexes, right? What is the, what are indexes? Indexes are the places where the elements are kept onto. So for example, the first element into this array is on index zero. Index starts from zero. So index it's 10 is on sitting on index zero. Then 20 is sitting on index one. Similarly, 30 is sitting on index two, 40 is sitting on index three and 50 is sitting on index four, correct? So now we will start traversing through this array and we'll traverse through all these index numbers and we'll keep on matching the values sitting on these indexes by this key. So we start traversing this array into, for, into this uh, direction and we'll say, first of all, what do we require in this? First of all, to traverse the array, we need a for loop. That for loop will go from zero to the size, less than the size, right? Then we will try to match if ARR of i is equal equals to the key that the user have entered, this key. If it matches, then it will return that index on which index that key is sitting on to. Say, suppose if the user entered a 20. So 20 sitting on index, 1. So the program should return 1. I hope you understood the point, right? So as soon as the program runs, it will ask, what do you want to search? We said 20 and it should return us that one twenty is sitting at index 1. So this is how our output is going to look like 1. Understood? If the user entered, say suppose if the user entered, uh, let's say 30 in this case. If the user entered 30, so now 30 will act as a key for us and instead of printing 1, it should print 2. Why? Because 30 is sitting on index 2. Correct? So 2 will be returned in this case. I hope this is very understood by uh, all of you guys. This is linear search in C++. So now let us try to implement this into our VS code. We'll go to our VS code and you'll see how the program can be written. Now in this case, let's start this program by saying hash include first first thing first, right? So I'll say hash include IO stream. And after that, you'll say using namespace std. And then I am going to create my main function. So I said int main and inside this, I will first uh, ask the user the size of the array, right? So what is the size of the array? So I took a variable for it, int n, and then I can say 
सी आउट एंटर दी साइज ऑफ दी आर ए ओके एंड आफ्टर दिस दिस साइज विल गो इन टू दिस एन वेरिएबल सो एल से सी एन इट गोज इन टू दिस एन ओके now let me create an array so int arr of size will be n just now we took the size so the size of this array will be n and uh, let's say c out enter the elements in the array okay so i'm going to say and l here to enter the elements into this array what i need to do i need to create a for loop for int i equals to 0 i is less than the size which is n right and i plus plus then here into the body of this for loop what i will write cn and i'll say arr of i so this will what it will do one by one it will take the elements and it will put all the elements into this array one by one correct i hope this is uh, understood by all of you guys so whatever i have done till now it is very simple and it is very easy to understand how it is working right now in this case i will say next i need to uh, ask the user right that what is the key what is the thing that you need to uh, search so here i will create a variable called as in key and in this key i will say c out enter the i'll say element to be searched okay and i'll say this will go into this cn it will go into this key okay so till now what i did i hope you understood in the main function i just took the size of the array then i took the array itself and inside this array i took the elements one by one so i have taken the input in the array and then i have asked for the element to be searched that will go into this key and what the idea is that i am going to match the key with the elements of the array one by one with the help of a function we are doing it so now here before my main function i am going to create a function called as int linear search well this is the function which is going to do the searching for us which is going to have the main logic written into this so let us say what will be the parameters of this first of all when this function gets called it should take the array right as an input the array uh, which needs to be checked which needs to be searched for the element right so i'm going to say int arr as the parameter of this array and uh, it is going to take the array and then i'm going to say int size because it needs the size also right this function should know the size of the array also so i'm taking for it and then it should work with the key also right so i passed int key as the parameter of this function for linear search okay so now i inside the body of this uh, function i will write the main logic for it so i'm going to create first what i need to do i need to traverse through the array right so in order to find the key what i need to do i need to traverse to the array so i'm going to say for i'm going to say int i equals to it will start from 0 it will go till i is less than the size of the array and then it is going to i say i plus plus i hope till here whatever i'm doing it is very much clear to all of you guys so in this case i am traversing traversing the error array now and to do that i created this for loop now inside this for loop after i started traversing it i need to check if the element is equals to the key or not to do that what i will do i will say if arr of i so as soon as this for loop is going on the element will be taken one by one and equal equals to i said key so when i call this function the key will be asked right 
and what will what is going to be the key key is going to be the element to be searched so as soon as i call this function this function takes that key and it tries to match with the element of this uh, array through the iteration for this for loop correct and inside this i will say uh, if arr of i equal equals to key i will say return uh, i itself so i said return i and uh, i am gonna say see if the uh, match is found then it will return the index otherwise if the match is not found then i'm gonna say return minus one basically it is going to return the index if the match is found if not then it is simply going to return the uh, number minus one okay so this is the whole idea behind this now i can go back to my main function and I can give the call to this particular function after I entered the key from the user. So I said, uh, see out. Why see out? Because this function needs to be printed because it is returning. Returning doesn't mean printing, right? So I said, see out. And then I called this function. And you can see this function had how many parameters? Array, size, and key. So here I'll pass the array. So I'll set ARR, comma. ARR is this array, right? Then I'll say uh, the size. Size was n, right? Just now we took the size here. And then we will pass the key, which will go directly here. So I'm saying comma key. Okay, so this is how the function got called. And I said it inside C out because it is this function is returning the indexes, right? So it has to be printed as well. So I said like that. And then I can just run the code and we'll see what is the output here. So enter the size of the array. It is first asking me. Let's say I entered the size as 5. So I said 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 as the elements of the array. Okay. Now it is going to say enter the element to be searched. So let's say I want to search 20. So it returned me 1, which is the correct value. Why? Because 10 is sitting at index 0, 20 sitting at index 1. And I needed to search 20. So it returned this i. i means the index itself, which is 1. So 1 is the index where 20 is sitting at. And I am searching for 20, right? So this is how we found it. I hope you understood this very well. If I want to make it more decorative, here I can write one more see out statement. See out. Uh, the element is on index and then it is going to return this i so now if i run this again you can see uh, five elements i want 10 20 30 40 50 and enter this element to be searched so let's say 20 so the element is on index one i hope this is very much clear let us uh, run this again and let's say this time i need four so 10 20 30 40 and in this case, let's say I want to search for uh, 40. So the element is sitting on index 3. So 0, 1, 2, 3. This is how linear search works, guys. And let's say now if I try to find the element which is not inside the array. So I created an array of the size 4. And let's say 10, 20, 30, 40. And now I want to first find for 50. Let's say I element uh, 50 I need to find. It has returned me minus one which means it is not there present into that particular uh, array so i hope this is very much clear guys this is how it is going to work very simple so this is how guys it is going to work and this is the code for it to implement it i have implemented the code here in this case i created the main function you can see i'll just to give you a quick review of my code here i created my main function here i created a um, a variable n to take the size into that uh, size of the array into that variable and then i created the array declared the array and using this for loop i am going to take the input into that array one by one element by element then i created this key this key is going to be the number to be searched by the user and then i created this function where this function is going to take the array as an input size of the array and key as an input so key is the element to be searched just remember that okay then i created the for loop 
why it needs to traverse that loop right so i uh, traverse that array right so i created for the for loop for that and then i checked if the element is equals to if the index element is equals to the key that has entered if it is the it, if it is so then the element is sitting on index return i and then i said if it not then it should return minus one okay and then see how it should be here in the main function after i entered the key i call this function and see how it will print the returned value i hope this is very much clear so linear search is a very easy uh, topic guys in c++ this is how it can be implemented so that's it for this video guys i hope you have understood how linear search works in c++ if you have any doubts you can ask us in the comment section below and we are going to clear all your doubts if you have any problems with this, tell us in the comment section, guys. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel, Code is Arcade. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates. So that's it for this video, guys. This is Ashang David signing off. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, happy learning.